Yo, what up, YouTube? All right, guys. I was showing you guys how to recycle your cocoa and your soil, but I didn't show you guys how to sift it out of the roots. I gave you guys a rough example on what to do, but if you take a look at that soil right over there, you can see how clean it is. I haven't done the first pot yet, but this one I have done. And you can just see how clean the cocoa is. And how you do that, guys, is with one of these. You can make a, a big screen sifter if you like, but this is what I use. I prefer this. All this is is a is a grill to a front of a 16-inch fan or a 20-inch fan or even a 6-inch fan you can use. The bigger the screen, the more you're going to sift. And all I do, guys, is I fill it up. All I do is fill it up with this excess material right here. This is the material that, that I broke up all the roots. And I just grab a couple handfuls, put it on the screen. Don't worry if there's any chunks in there, you'll get through them as you, as you sift it. And then as you sift it guys, this is what you'll get left with. And the big chunks, you can just break them up as you're going through it. There's still some moisture in these from last summer, which is pretty amazing. <laughs> Considering they've been out here all winter, and uh, well, I guess the rain and snow adds mix adds for the moisture in it. And you can see how all the cocoa or soil is falling through, and you can just break up the bigger chunks and just keep sifting away. Like I said, you're not gonna get all of it, but you'll get the majority of it, and you'll get left with all the roots left behind, guys, just like that. Fucking crazy, huh? I got a pile of roots already right here on the floor, but you can see how clean the cocoa is. Bring in the camera a little closer and I'll show you what it looks like. So that's what the clean cocoa looks like. And it's it's not 100% clean of roots. There's still some little roots in there. But nothing major. The majority of this is clean. And it's ready to rock and roll, guys. So that's an easy way to sift out your cocoa. Is with just uh, with the screen. You know what I mean? Without having to build a, a sifter or do anything. And, you know, spend a lot of money. If you have a fan laying around, all the fans come off. You can unscrew it or you have quick latches, you can just pop them right off. Easy to quick and easy way to sift your, your roots out of your soil. You can see the pile of roots I have on the floor right there. Just from that one pot, it's quite a bit of roots. And like I said, there's some cocoa and perlite in there as well. I could sift it again if I wanted to. Or I could just uh, refresh it with some fresh cocoa and perlite. Which is probably what I'm going to do, to be honest. Um, I've done this for many many years guys don't be uh, discouraged or or think you have to buy cocoa every time you grow something it's not necessary guys planet earth has been doing this for millions of years recycling itself and doing its own thing on its natural nature this is just a way to do it so you don't have to spend your money and you can buy other things like nutrients or or, or you can buy recharge recharge is a fucking amazing product they don't pay me to say that guys they don't give me any other product but i know for a fact it works amazing amazing product and it's not a nutrient it's just uh it's microbes for the soil it's cheaper than great white shark and it works just as good guys great white shark is a great product as well but so is not recharge it's a little bit expensive but it's fucking amazing and it lasts for a good minute so take my word for it guys try it out you don't have to buy the big one you could buy the small small package or whatever you want to buy eight ounces it's just a, a soluble nutrient or microbes that you put in the water and you mix it up and pour it right into your plants guys uh, amazing amazing stuff it works really good like I say this is a quick way to do uh, all your recycling I've already done these two pots I have one more left that I need to do which is this one and like I say once you get it out there's quite a bit of roots in there for the size of pot it is these plants were six feet tall five feet around they were they weren't little plants by any means um, by doing this method guys you're going to save a ton of money that you can invest in other things that you need whether it be stakes like those in the corner uh, for your pots to hold up your plants and the buds or, or, or fabric pots or plastic pots or anything extra that you need to buy don't waste your money buying cocoa and soil you can definitely reuse it and save and save it and use it over and over if you do have bugs in your soil guys you guys can buy, buy micro lift uh, BMC fucking stuff works amazing it's like a like a super bug for 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 uh, for um, gnats and a couple other things like mosquitoes and stuff and then you can use other pesticides as well natural pesticides don't use anything uh, 
that's going to hurt your plants, guys. Try to stick with like neem oil, uh, green soap works amazing. So does Dawn dish soap. Uh, you know, one teaspoon per, per gallon of water of Dawn dish soap or half a gallon of water, two quarts. is just about right, you know what I mean? And you can spread it on your plants. Just do them at night. Don't do it in the light. Um, do it in the evening time or early, early morning before the sun comes up. Uh, but I prefer to do everything in the evening time. It's just better. It leaves the plants overnight to soak and you don't have to worry about anything burning them or anything bad happening. Uh, by the morning time you should be fine. Your plants will be just as healthy as they were the day before but without any bugs. So just keep that in mind guys. If you guys uh, need anything just let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to answer your guys' questions. Um, yeah, hopefully this guys helps you guys. Uh, have a good one. Be safe.